Hey everybody, I am here at Universal Studios, Florida, and I am here to see the new Hello Kitty store and to check out the new, well not new, but really kind of older, the Harry Potter candy store that I haven't been to and ride some rides. So, come join me on my own. I have a forecast. I think all of this will be full at night for the Wingsing concert because last time I came here, Shawn Mendes was here and everybody was crazy and this place is over capacity so I feel like it's going to be even worse and now I'm going to go to the Hello Kitty store to see the new Hello Kitty outfit person thing and to take a picture here and see all the new stuff in the Hello Kitty Look at this store, it's so colorful. All this pink and all these things. Look how awesome she looks. And there's also a little Hollywood print sign kind of Chinese theater thing where she has her hands inside the Hello Kitty thing. There she is. I also forgot to show you guys my new Marty from Back to the Future hat. But now I will be going to the ET ride to ride ET, obviously. And then probably do some of the stuff around there. Betty Boo is out. Hi! Hi! How are you? Good! Good, what's your name? Andy. Andy, it's nice to meet you. Hey. Are you having a good day? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Bye! Bye! And so is Bart. And Beetlejuice, I guess this is all because of, uh, not all of it, but Beetlejuice is because of the gra gra graveyard bash is gone. So I guess he's doing his rounds around here. <laughs> hey Beetlejuice! <laughs> Looks like the Superstar Parade either just finished or is just about to make their rounds. I feel like they're about to make the round because there's, if you can see, feet just right there and I feel like they're going to open up the gates any second now. But I have no time for that. I am going to go to ET. I'm going to go to ride ET, but I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys know what that little stage is for? It's nice decorated and all that, but I don't know what that is all. Outside of the Spongebob store, or inside, but I can see them from the outside. Going in. <laughs> I'm now going to the Simpsons right after I just got out of ET. But, see, look, ET. But now I'm going to the Simpsons ride. I'm going to have a flaming mo and then I'm going to go on the Simpsons ride. And after that, I'm going to probably go to Diagon Alley to go to the music. In honor of my hat, I thought that I might pass by and show you guys the Back to the Future props in next to Springfield, USA. Lard Lads, Bumblebee Puffles, and I now get a flaming mo. So I didn't go to the get a flaming mo because for some reason the line was really long to get a flaming mo. So I'm just gonna skip that and go to the Simpsons ride. So I just got off of the Simpsons ride, but there used to be a Coca-Cola little robot mm. here but I guess they're either renovating it or they took it out for the Volcano Bay construction that's somewhere over there but look it's gone but now I'm gonna go to Men in Black and get you guys a sneak not a sneak peek but a little glimpse of the inauguration so I got out of Men in Black but I totally for it like just forgot about doing the inauguration tour I'm really sorry but now I'm going into Diagon Alley to go to the new candy store I'm gonna turn this door down I'm gonna 
show you guys the I don't think it's this one. Could it be this one? No, I don't think it's that one. I think it's this one. Let's see this one. Let's try this one. No? It's not this one either. It, he comes out, out of right there. Another one. Oh, I like how the colors of this hat is, but I could not show the elf. But I am here in Diamond. Here it is. Sugar Plums. It used to be the photo store, but now it's a sweet store. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, yum. Oh. So I got the chocolate cauldron cake, and you can actually hold it like a cauldron. But I'm gonna. Really good. So I am leaving Diagon Alley now, as you can see with the dragon, and I am headed to see the construction of um, Fast and Furious. As you guys can see, there's really not much change from this front part here, but let's see towards the other side of there. There is absolutely nothing here except for the train. But besides that, there's nothing here. They just knock everything Slap it. Got it. Yeah, fellas. Yo, Jesse, a little help, man. Hey, Jesse, can I get some help too, man? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jesse. What up, everybody? Got it. Look at all these people from Mardi Gras. So I meet it, met and like took a picture with the people but I also got a wristband so now I'm gonna go see the other people and I want to probably wait for the uh, the parade but I want to show you guys what they have done with it. It's completely empty on the inside. Nothing more. And then there's the facade. And there's some more structure. The new clothes, but they literally got it all out. Got it all out. King Bob? Nice to meet you, King Bob. Didn't realize you were royal. Hello, ladies! How are you? You seem excited. got out of the Transformers ride and I'm going to the horror makeup show. Alex Ross! Hey! 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 Welcome everybody, welcome to the horror makeup show. We're so glad you could join us. I'm your host Alex Ross. You guys ready for some blood and guts? Yeah! yeah. Alright, you're in for a treat. We have a special guest, really great friend of mine. Her name is Marty James. She's a makeup artist and a creature creator from LA, and she's gonna come out and talk to us about the cool stuff that goes on behind the scenes when they make monsters and horror movies. So let's get her out here. Big round of applause for my buddy, Marty James! She's coming back in her studio in real life. Marty James! Marty James! Marty James! Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, 
I don't, I don't need to be pulled off the stage. Um, I need mouth to mouth. Show project finally. You brought the children's show? Yeah, here? I'm really proud of it's it. It's over here? Some, yeah. What, okay. Wait, wait, no, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 no. Alex, wait. I want to see it. No, 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 I want to wait to do a couple things and then wait that for the end. Is that, please? Okay. Okay, cool. Just yeah. don't touch the curtain. Right. Great. What you can do though is go into the crowd and find yeah. me a woman whose family no longer needs her. <laughs> oh, an expendable. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call her a volunteer. Thank you for raising your hand, but it's no fun to pick people who want to do it. Thank you, though. And studies have shown people that volunteer for this kind of show tend to be clinically insane. No, and don't offer somebody up. That's not nice. I'm looking for somebody who came in here. Maybe they thought this was a ride, or they thought Harry Potter comes and brings butterbeer for everybody on the wings of an owl. That's not going to happen. No, I think I would like to have this lovely lady right here. Big middle of last one, not take pictures, okay? All right, thank you very much for volunteering. I like your Captain America shirt. It's very cool. Come right up here. Here we go. Stand right over here on the trap door. Good. Hi, my name is Alex. You are? What is it? Iris. Iris. Nice to meet you, Iris. Iris, this is Marty James. Hi, Iris. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'll, don't worry, I'll get that. This is the real one. Where are you from? <gasps> Puerto Rico, nice! I'm from Puerto Rico! And do you have something to take a picture? You have the camera? No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut you with that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you with this. Yeah. Do you mind taking off your jacket? No, no, I just don't want to get blood on it. Can you put that with the others? Yes. Thank you. They're going to go to Goodwill. Yeah. It's very nice. Iris, I'm going to take that knife and hack off your arm, leave you a little love so you can still text, okay? You can put that watch up here. It'll work out great. It's not going to hurt, but I want it to make it a believable horror movie, okay? So on the count of three, one, two, three, you are going to scream like, ah! really loud okay here we go get ready to scream one two three scream like ah! one two three ah! Ah! <laughs> she's so dainty and cute I didn't expect it. it's like a tiny baby mouse it's okay you're gonna scream more when i cut you have this hand all right here for moral support. You got this. One, two, three! Wait! What? There are kids out there. You want me to cut a kid? What? <laughs> you no, know, I wanted you to talk to them. Oh, okay. Just give me a couple seconds. <laughs> Listen up, kids. Don't drink beer for breakfast. What? Just because your mom does it doesn't mean it's okay to do. I mean, let's face it, she's stuck at home with you all day long, of course, until UPS shows up, and then it's like 50 shades of brown. Okay, hi. I meant a safety tip for the children. Those are different. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, listen up, kids. All the knives and blades you see here and in the films have been dulled or they're made of plastic. Gags have been set up by trained professionals, so please, kids, don't try this at home. 
Try it at your friend's house. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's bad. Can we get a close up, please? All right. Ready, Iris? Come on over here. Get ready to scream. Let me hear you. One, two, three. Ah! Scream! Oh, you're doing it. God. You're doing it. You're doing such oh, a good God. job. Oh, yeah. No! Ah! Marty! Oh! That's in your arm. Oh, yeah. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Really? No. What do we do? I would say pictures, but she doesn't have any, so let's talk about the weather. How nice. Hey, it's 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 it looks so yeah. great, but it has been Iris? such a pleasant day. Does it hurt? No? You know what does? This hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Only about finger. All right. Now, the gag was created by Tom Savini, the makeup effects artist mm -hmm. from the original Dawn of the Dead. Here's how it works. It actually starts off looking like that. I'm covering that handle, and I'm cutting, and slowly, boom. The cutouts, that's what gives the illusion I'm hacking off the arm. And all that blood is created from blood bowl pinned behind the handle. The knife, it's completely fake, and Iris is uninjured. Let's hear from Iris! And a structure based on the after David Nunn with cutouts that all went on a series of pneumatics. Pneumatics is air pressure. Exactly, air pressure pushes out all the different pieces. Uh, you can go ahead and check it out. Okay. Uh, then latex masks are stretched over those fiberglass understructures where air bladders are placed so it expands and contracts to look like the wolf is changing shape. Attention to detail without any editing was very important. So I have porcelain dental appliances, airbrushing. This one actually has real human hair in it. That's human hair? Yeah. Where do you get hair? Kids from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> So, now when Rick Baker was working on the Wolfman remake, is this what he used for the transformations? They did try, it wasn't very successful, so they turned towards a CGI. Computer generated imagery. Yeah, I've got one last clip to even show that. Yeah. Right? Now, as you can see in this first part right here, that's where they tried our traditional makeup effects. But it didn't make the cut, so they turned towards computers to bring the monster to life. You got Del Toro scanned in, so then the artist can morph, shift, and change the facial structure in real time. Then apps were created dealing with hair and fur. By far, the most difficult thing to make look realistic on screen. You used to have to put hair by hair, but the apps is instantaneous application. But where does practical makeup fit into the digital realm? You will always revert back to practical makeup to know how it's gonna translate well on screen. And we got the tools of the past and the tools of the future, perfect monsters can be built. That is awesome. Marty James, Thank you everybody. For having me so much. We have like two minutes left. Could we see your project? Yeah. Do you mind helping me out? Okay. Sweet. Go ahead and put on this high voltage vest. Excuse me? <laughs> this low voltage vest? You just said it was a high voltage vest. I made a slight vest. mistake. I just, it's a little no, bit of electricity that will probably hold it going. I don't I'm realize you can find somebody, somebody else. Iris! <laughs> Everybody <laughs> applaud. Iris is coming back. Yes. Where's my Iris? Yes. Iris, come back. Thank you so much for volunteering again. <laughs> and for doing that, we're going to give you and your daughter a three-day cruise. Oh. Brochure. Oh. <laughs> to Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's a vest, not a breastplate. But I really like the way you think. Go ahead. And can you put on the right glove for me? Sure. Thanks. Oh, and then get the camera. Okay. Hey, Iris, have you ever seen a movie called The Green Mile? Yes! Good, so you know how this ends. Ah! Kidding. You're wearing what's known as a telemetry suit, so you have a sensor on your head and on your hand right here. So whenever you move, it will send a movement to my creation, all right? So it's time to bring them out. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen! Yes, uh, it's for the final episode of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Dora learns trying, Molly Rapido. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the electricity and it will surge for these wires here. Hit your vest. Very brief moment, you're going to feel like a <laughs> When you wake up, I'll not remember any of this, but your pants will be wet. All right, let's get a picture. Iris, that's for the insurance company. Put your hands down at your side. I'm going to turn on Eddie. You just got to sync up your vest. Marty, what was that? It's nothing. 
demonstration of motion capture technology been around for 23 years uh, they used it in Jurassic Park 3 to bring the velociraptor to life on stage your raptor off stage your puppeteer okay. it bends at the elbow it can whip and it can nay nay <laughs> you can also wave hi kids I'm Eddie I live under your bed I, I kid I kid I live in Alex's closet. <laughs> Hand down at your stomach. Take a nice bow. Hand down at your side. Excellent. I'm going to turn you off. Sit down, Eddie. What do you guys think, huh? Very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Iris. Honey, that is awesome. Thanks. And Iris, you are absolutely fantastic. This is for you. This is a photo so you can remember your visit with us. Thank you so much. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Iris. Thank you very much for being here. All right, let's hear for By the time I'm done, Mardi Gras should have started. So, yeah, ooh, hat derby. But anyways, I'm gonna be going to one of those two. You will find out now in a second. But after that, we will see the Mardi Gras parade and the show. I'm at the Mummy. And I'm gonna show you guys where the King Kong statue is. So I just got out of the mummy now and I'm going to the film vault to see what new stuff, if they have any new stuff, and probably get something. Ah, oh, bubbles. But I'm gonna probably get something and then after that I'll either ride the Transformers or if there's not enough time, I'll go to the Mardi Gras parade. Look at this Mr. Staple. It's huge. Whoa. Never mind. Oh, look. There's my hat. Mm. Cool. Jaw stuff. Tea stuff. Ooh, and all the posters in the back. I said it, it's really full here, but it's going to get even cooler because the undead is going to be very hot. The fast pass line is totally empty at Minion Maker. So I will be going there and then I'll probably be going to Shrek next. And see if I can get some footage from the Minion store because this is a 3D vibe. I can't get the Minion and the Minion. This used to be a big rocket that said Nickelodeon. No, it's all gone. So I have pretty much done almost all the rides. 
except for Gringotts and some of the stuff at the kids zone so I'm gonna go to the kids zone first do some of the stuff there and then I'm gonna go to Gringotts and do other rides because I'm just here waiting for the Mardi Gras parade and for Yandel to play and then I am out of here it's been a long day <laughs> 